Use the given graph to find the mean for the data represented in the bar graph, round answer to the nearest tenth. All they've done is taken the frequency table and presented it as a bar graph. So, and one way of thinking about it is just go backwards. You can take the bar graph and recreate it as a frequency table, and, and we've been working those. But, but let's just look at the look at it as a bar graph now. This bar for three goes up to three. The bar for four goes up to four. The bar for five goes to three. The bar for six goes to four. And the bar for seven goes to six. So these are the values on the horizontal axis. And the vertical axis has the frequencies. So I would hope you could do this without even writing it out as a as a frequency table but just to show you that there's a one-to-one -one connection I'm actually going to do it I really don't think you probably need to go this far but you could you've got your X values and you've got their frequencies so the first X value is 3 with a frequency of 3 the second X value is 4 with a frequency of 4 the third is 5 with the frequency of 3. The next one is 6 with the frequency of 4. And the last is 7 with the frequency of 6. So now you're back to the frequency table, which we've done those. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship there. That's what I want to say. But in order to do this on your Casio FX260, you just need to go into stats mode. And I've done some problems where I've taken you step by step getting you into stats mode. So I'm assuming at this point that you've got this procedure down. If not, go back to an earlier problem and, and watch it. Uh, watch me walk you through step by step. But assuming you've got this process, you just want to go into stats mode. which you know is mode is the mode the mode button followed by the decimal point that takes you to stats mode and then you enter each of the values using the M plus key so you're going to enter three three times and you're going to use the M plus key between each entry and then you're going to enter four four times and you'll enter five three times and six four times and seven six times so when you're done you've entered three three plus four is seven plus three is ten plus four is fourteen plus six is twenty so there are twenty values all together and if you do shift six you should come up with twenty if not you've made some mistake but once you get all those numbers in the calculator using your stats mode then all you do is do shift 7 and shift 7 will give you the mean so the mean using shift 7 on your calculator and rounding it to the nearest tenth it comes out to be 5.3. So I haven't gone into as much excruciating detail on this problem, but if you want to see more detail, go back to an earlier problem where I showed things more step by step. I hope at this point that's second nature to you and you can concentrate on the process. And I don't really even think you need to, to, to draw out the frequency table. I think you should be able to do it directly from the bar graph. But if it helps solidify things in your mind, it only takes a few seconds, so you can do it that way. Use the given graph to find the median for the data represented in the bar graph. Write the answer as a decimal, an integer or a decimal as needed. So with median, we want the mi middle value. So again, uh, you should be able to do this without 
um, much effort going straight from the bar graph, but if not, you can reinterpret things. Here you have three, three times, four, four times, five, three times, and you have three fives, three threes, four fours, three fives, and six is four, so you have four sixes, and seven is six, so you have six. And again, this is the same bar graph as before, and if you added those numbers, you know that they add up to 20 if you add them all up. So there are 20 values all together. If you're looking at the median, uh, 20 is even, so there's not going to be a, a, a 1 in the middle. So the 10th and the 11th will be the two numbers that you need to average together to get the median. Remember, when there's not a single number in the middle, you average the middle two. So if you've got 20 values, the 10th and the 11th value will, will need to be averaged. Well, you can look at the bar graph and see the first three values of 3, you've got four more 4s, that takes you up to 7, and then three more takes you up to 10. So you've got three if you're doing cumulative, then four more takes you up to seven, and then three more takes you up to ten. So the tenth one is five. So that's one of the numbers you need to average. Well, if the tenth number is five, the eleventh number, in fact, the eleventh, the next four numbers are sixes. So the eleventh number falls in here. The tenth number is the very last one of those fives. So you've got three plus four is seven plus three is ten. So the the uh, tenth number is the very last one of the fives. So the eleventh number is the very first six. So the two numbers you need to average are five and six, which is eleven halves. And if you want to write it as a decimal, that would be five point five. So that's the median. Now, if it really bothers you to do it that way, you can translate to a to a frequency table and try it that way, or you could actually just write everything out. You could say, well, I've got three threes, I have four fours, I have three fives, I have four sixes, and I have six sevens. And then you know that there are 20, so the, between the 10th and the 11th, you have the median. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's your 10th and the 11th right there. And that's where you get the 5 and the 6. And if you average them again, you get 5.5. So whatever it takes for you to get the right answer. Use the graph to find the mode for the data represented in the bar graph. Now, as I said earlier, finding the mode is very easy when you have a frequency table, but it's just as easy as if you have a uh, The value with the highest bar is going to be the mode. So that's very easy. Um, the 7 is the mode. No reason to try to pretend that's difficult. Just look at the tallest bar. That represents the highest frequency value, and that's the mode.